Hi, my name is Mindy, and um, I, so, <laughs> sorry, I didn't think this through, I didn't write anything oh, down, I, I should have written oh, down. Um, so, I am a, one of the, the over 400,000 poor or low income people that, uh, was referenced before. Um, I've worked at McDonald's for 18 years, um, and I make 25 cents more than um, starting pay at my location, which just went up to um, $13. So, um, one of the right, things. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so one of the things I wanted to talk about a little bit was how I came to this movement. Um, I personally started my activism in the realm of uh, reproductive rights, women's rights. You know, we all have our niche thing that we really are passionate about, and that's where I started. But after the election um, in 2016, um, I and uh, actually also Aubrey were kind of looking for a place that dealt with all the issues that we knew were going, that have been around forever and that we knew were going to get much worse. Um, you know, different, you, you can work on a campaign, I've done that before, you know, you're working for um, a candidate, you know, or you're working for a single issue, you're working for, to pass a, um, specific bill and then that's it and we wanted a place that was going to be doing all the things that we cared about and a place that was playing the long game you know that was that was here for the long haul and that was the poor people's campaign so that's how we both ended up here um and a big part of the poor people's campaign is fusion organizing. So working to cross divisions, lines of division, wherever they are. You know, the system is really good at dividing us. And the work of this campaign is to unite in people who are impacted by all of these um, systemic evils. You know, the divisions are everywhere. I, I mentioned that I work at McDonald's and you see poor people against poor people there you know everyone is complaining right now because the folks that lost their job in the middle of a pandemic are still getting unemployment which means people are not lining up necessarily for really crappy paying jobs like the one I'm at and and people are celebrating the fact that folks will be forced back to work and we might be able to hire some more people at my job. These are, these are um, people who, who need, you know, are, are on, on unemployment because their kids aren't going to work full time, you know, and they can't you know, necessarily work. These are people who lost better paying jobs, you know, who, who shouldn't have to go work for $13 an hour, you know. Um, but, but, you know, you have people who are making $13 an hour rejoicing that folks are going, going to have to face their struggle. And you also have people who have been so broken down by this system, which really isn't broken per se, it works really well at keeping poor people poor and blaming themselves and not believing that they deserve better. Um, so you have folks saying, well, I'm just a burger flipper. I, you know, I make all right money, you know, says the kid who's, you know, living at home. They deserve better, you know? We tell people, go to college, right? Go to college so you can snap your fingers and get a better job, right? right? But we pay the people, you know, stereotypically, you know, you assume it's 
teenagers, right, working at McDonald's, that's what you hear a lot. So we'd pay those teenagers so little they can't afford to go to college to get the job, the degree to get the job so they won't be poor for the rest of their lives, right? That ain't right. That ain't right. So, I mean, you see, you see, it's not just divisions of, of folks who are doing really well and are rich and whatever um, against folks like us. You know, we've all been kind of pitted against each other and that's, you know, the work of the Poor People's Campaign is, is crossing all those lines of division wherever they're found. Um, and I think that's one of the things that makes us really um, different and, and why I'm here. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Thank you. <laughs>